Hello from Slovenia again. Today I will do really kind of basic thing in acrylic pouring or how can I say or just I started maybe not all of us but I did uh, started with the flip cup where you mix your paints with pouring medium and add some silicone oil it's a lot of different silicone oils. I use this paint art silicone oil because I like it. I don't have a lot of problems with uh, cleaning it and uh, even ooh, glare maybe this way. Even if you I put uh, resin on you see it's really nice and I clean it just with baby wipes twice and then with water and put a coat of resin and it's really nice. So that's why I like to use my paint art silicone oil because I didn't, I had some problems with some different um, silicone oils but sh all of them should work the same. To create cells and I will work on 10 by 10 by 14 inch canvas and I will fill out fill up <laughs> two cups and as I said I will use primary no I didn't say it. and because uh, when you start you you don't buy all kind of paints and um, brands and everything so I will use just primary colors with black and white and this is my consistency and I already mixed in silicone oil three so one drop for an ounce of paint okay and this is my primary cyan so it's blue and it's oxide black and I have permanent magenta and permanent yellow and I will start with adding some white in both of them and I will not add a lot of the whole layer of black you know I will just layer those but I will add just a little black over the blue just to maybe add some contrast in colors and some different shades so I will basically just add a little bit of black here because I don't want that black to be like black layer or something if you understand hopefully this will work like that so this is magenta and primary yellow so primary colors will be a star of this show not black and white or how can I say black and white are just for uh, an addition to I don't know I will add a little more white than I did black because I'm not afraid of white as I'm afraid of black or how can I say and let's go to blue again again I hope that I will not regret that but you never know what I have envisioned in my head it's not necessarily what it will look like on canvas so okay 
the yellow. And I'm not sure if I will do just flip cup or flip and lip, flip and drag. Maybe I will even roll some marble through. I don't know. We will see. So <clears throat> first one I will just do like that. And the other one I will flip. And I want to have those two cups quite close, or how can I say? Because I will do like that, you know, in one and in the, on the other side. So, this is always... Um, an exciting part. <laughs> Let's flip this one first. Okay, so I will tilt it now, just have to find some kind of corner catcher for me. Okie doke, so let's do that. Okay, so the first part is done, now I will look at this and decide.
but yes. I definitely need. We'll just go through a few months of Hunger Book. Sky's open. But we're just glad to go through maybe find some planets underneath. So I'm basically trying to control my torching. Got the one cells all around, but one cell. Okay. Now what? I want to hear it just a little more. I'm not crazy about this yellow part there. I really love this part and I love this part, but I will definitely try to tilt some of this part off. So I will try to walk. that I like. So here is a close-up. All kind of beautiful cells. It's always hard to torch that you control yourself or even me. For me is like that. So here is this middle part that it's like a break from the upper cells again. It's, it will be probably a little darker here, so it will look like a sky and here is almost like a rainbow. So, <laughs> at the end, I managed to get the, the composition that I like. I know that maybe it's not something that you will like or I don't know, but when you paint, you, ha you have to, you know, go with what you like and try to get as close, I don't know, as you can. <laughs> so, this is it for today. And see you on the next one. Bye.